Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now today I have here a very exciting phone that I've been testing out for the past two weeks and that is the Vivo X70 Pro. Now this device here is pretty interesting because it is positioned as one of the most or if not the better camera smartphones out there. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my experience with the photos that I've taken with this device right here. I'll also be sharing with you a particular video that I took just to test out the stabilization of the X70 Pro. And of course, we're going to be talking a little bit about how it really feels like to use on a daily. Now, before I begin, I just want to say that this device here was just launched by Vivo Malaysia at a price of RM3299. And the device here comes in only one spec in Malaysia, and that is the topmost spec of 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal memory. Now, now that I've got that out of the way, let's focus on this device very quickly. So right here, let's start off with the design. We have a really nice dark shade of black here on the Vivo X70 Pro. And I really like the fact that it is super slim right here and it feels so sleek. So obviously, I also have my camera here with me today and I personally feel that the black on this device here looks very similar to a compact camera. So that's really something that I like about this device. Now, obviously you'll notice on the top left corner, we do have a very huge camera cutout and that is because it is housing the four camera setup that I will be talking a little bit more in detail later. That is pretty much what I want to say about the design. It feels sleek, it feels premium and definitely feels great in hand. Now, let's move on and talk straight away about the camera because I think most of you guys are really here to see the performance of the sensors coming from the Vivo X70 Pro. So first up, I want to draw your attention very quickly to the top of the lens here and that is you'll notice that we have a Zeiss T-Star logo at the top. What this means is that there is a coating on the lens here that actually reduces flare and reduces reflections. This will actually result in more cleaner photos without all those kind of flares from the light bulbs and of course, a reflection-free kind of picture. Let's talk a little bit about the specifications of the four sensors at the back. First up, we do have a 50 megapixel main sensor. We also have a 12 megapixel ultra wide, another 12 megapixel for your portraits, as well as an eight megapixel telephoto lens for some kind of zoom. All right, so now those are just numbers, but let's take a look at how the pictures really turn out. All right, so let's start off very quickly with photos taken in the day. Over here, I am really pleased to say that the pictures here looks very clear. It comes with very nice colors. Occasionally, it is a little bit saturated, more saturated than my liking, but they do look very nice here. And what I really want to focus on here with the 50 megapixels is in terms of the detail, guys. We are seeing a lot of details on these photos right here. So in terms of just daytime shots, it is very excellent. All right, guys, so next up, let's take a look at the portrait modes taken by the Vivo X70 Pro. Now, over here, I really want to talk a bit about the Zeiss style portraits uh, that comes in the Distagon, Planar, Sonar, and Biotar. So there are four different kinds of styles here, each with a very unique kind of experience. All right, so these are just a couple of photos taken using this uh, Zeiss style portraits. But what I want to say here is that the portraits look very natural. It looks like it was taken by the camera. In fact, I even shared one of these photos on my Facebook and people actually thought that it was taken by a camera. So I think for this Vivo X70 Pro right here, it is definitely a very strong camera in terms of taking photos. Now, let's move very quickly to talk a little bit about the ultra wide as well. The ultra wide sensor on this Vivo X70 Pro is a 12 megapixel like I mentioned earlier. But the good news here is that the edges are actually pretty clear as well. Now, on most ultra wide cameras, you tend to notice that there is a lack of clarity on the edges of the sensor, but this is not the case for the Vivo X70 Pro, and I really love the kind of results that we are getting from the ultra wide. Now, last but not least, let's talk very quickly about the night mode. Now, night mode works very well on the Vivo X70 Pro as well. With that large 50 megapixel sensor, we are again able to take a lot of detail, a very brightly lit kind of image, especially during the night. I was able to go to the twin towers right here, as you can see, and I took quite a fair bit of photos here, all of which are full of detail and looks really good. Again, one more thing that you should note here is that the pictures at night do not come with a lot of noise and it looks very good for sharing on your social media. So those are just the kind of photos that you can expect to take on the Vivo X70 Pro. Now let's take a very quick look at this video right here that I took using the Vivo X70 Pro to showcase how good the stabilization is. Now bear in mind that in this video, I was actually running quite fast and I have the ultra stable mode turned on. So you do see a little bit of stutters here and there because I was really actually running in the video. So this is the kind of stabilization that you can expect on the Vivo X70 Pro. Yes, it does come with that gimbal-like kind of uh, OIS in the sensors itself. So you can expect to have very stable videos. Obviously, if you're running most of the time, uh, you'll still see a little bit of jitter here and there, but it is already very good for a camera coming out from a smartphone like this. All right, so those are just the experience in terms of taking photos on the Vivo X70 Pro. Overall, I really have to applaud the Vivo X70 Pro here as one of my favorite go-to camera smartphones of 2021. 
In fact, my most favorite part here was actually in the portraits because I was able to come out with a unique, something a little bit different that I can actually share on my social media. And this is actually quite pleasing uh, to the user itself. So if you're looking for a phone that really does very good in terms of those portraits, uh, you can actually check out the Vivo X70 Pro. Now, now that we have done with the camera, let's talk a little bit more about the rest of the device. Uh, we still want to cover that very quickly. So at the front here, you do have a very nice display as well. Uh, obviously, this is a 6.56 inch uh, AMOLED display. It also has 120 Hz, so everything is battery smooth. This is one of the better AMOLED displays. Comparing it to more cheaper smartphones, uh, you notice that there is a better quality of image as well as the colors coming from the Vivo X70 Pro right here. So that's definitely a plus point. Apart from that, you also get a pretty decent processor at the back here. This is the Dimensity 1200 processor for the Malaysian market. So that's also a pretty good processor. It goes very similar in terms of performance to the Snapdragon 870. And again, like I mentioned earlier on, it does come with 12 gigabytes of RAM as well as uh, a 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 fast storage. Now, in terms of the battery, we do have a slightly smaller 4450 mAh battery. Of course, to keep it slim and nice like this, but it does support 44 watt fast charge, so you should be able to charge up your device in fairly quick time. Uh, apart from that, I do need to point out that although I have been taking quite a lot of photos here, the device was still able to pull through a full day on one single charge. So that's definitely a good thing about the Vivo X70 Pro. All right, guys, last but not least, one thing that I do need to point out here uh, that I find a little bit lacking is the fact that it only has one single firing speaker at the bottom. I did wish that it came with a stereo speaker setup at least, but uh, it is what it is, and this is what you get with the Vivo X70 Pro. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much what I want to cover in today's video. Again, I just want to highlight that the Vivo X70 Pro here is a very strong contender in terms of the best smartphone camera. It does do very solid pictures with its quad camera setup here. And definitely, if you're the kind of person who likes to shoot a lot of portraits, uh, you might want to check out this X70 Pro. All right, guys, so before I go, I just want to cover very quickly uh, Vivo's latest TWS2. Uh, it looks like this, and it also comes with ANC built in. Now, the good thing about this device here is that it is very small and compact, very cute as well. And of course, you have the earbuds on the insides. The flaps are also pretty solid right here. And the good news here, I just want to talk about three things here. Number one, in terms of audio quality, it does sound pretty good with these little earbuds right here. They are super tiny, by the way. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. So when you put it in your ears, it's like barely there. So it's very, very small, and it does provide you very strong bass for these tiny devices right here. Now, the second thing, obviously, is regarding the anti-noise cancellation, and it actually works very well. It can block out to 40 dB of noise from these earbuds right here, so I think that's pretty decent as well. Uh, you also have your transparency mode built in into these earbuds, so if you want to hear the environment, all you need to do is just tap on these earbuds here and you'll be able to hear your environment. So that's pretty good stuff here. Last but not least, I think I should also talk a little bit about the mic quality from these earbuds here. I've used this on a couple of calls that I made earlier on and the party on the other side was able to hear me clearly, so I don't think I have much to complain about this brand new Vivo TWS2 earbuds. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you like the video, don't forget to give the video a like, a thumbs up, sub to the channel. And I hope to see all of you guys in the next video. Thank you everybody. Bye.